this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the Caribbean Coast Mosaic Blanket. This is so pretty. I've used three shades of blue in this blanket. It's a beautiful mosaic stitch. I've worked a double border so that all of our ends are hidden. There's no ends to weave. I've just edged it in the lightest blue color and it's turned out just beautiful. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about the yarn. So here are some gorgeous color options that you could use for that real coastal feel. So this is more like the blanket that I chose. And this is Brava worsted weight yarn. So the colors that I have here, Tide Pool, Marina, Corn Flower, and White. So that's one option. And then I love this one as well. So we have Marina, Tranquil, Mint, and White. So there's just some options for you, but of course you can pick any color that you want. You could even just choose two colors and that would look great as okay, well. So you're gonna need two hook sizes for the blanket. We're gonna be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a 5.5 millimeter. So an I and a G plus. These are my Furls Odyssey crochet hooks. And if you're looking to get a similar size and use the similar amount of yarn, you're going to want to make sure your gauge is spot on with my gauge. So I've gauged it with my 5.5 millimeter hook, which is what the majority of the blankets worked in. Our border will be done in the smaller hook. And I have 14 stitches and 15 rows. It's really easy to count your rows with the mosaic because you're going to have those tails on the side. So you can just count those and you're looking at having 14 stitches across, 15 rows equal to four inches. So I'm gonna work through the chart with you, the mosaic chart. Now for, we've got the two sizes, we've got our baby and our throw. So you're gonna chain out 108 for a baby or 162 for the throw size. Now I am only gonna work through the smaller swatch with you to work through this pattern. We're gonna be doing a repeat of row three through 14. So I'll work that through with you and then I'll let you know how many repeats to continue to work your blanket. Okay, so let's look at how we're gonna read the mosaic chart and how this is gonna work. So this pattern, is worked by a, a chaining a multiple of six. So I've already worked out that math for you. You're chaining 108 or 162. When you work mosaic crochet, here are the colors the rows we're working. So A, I'm gonna be using white. B, I'm gonna be using um, tranquil, just e easy color to see. So we're working A, B, A, B. So every other row is worked in the different color, okay? So even though you see this pattern, like we're changing color here, we're actually not. You're working the whole row all in one color. What you wanna pay attention to with your chart is whether you are working a single crochet in the back loop only, working a drop down double crochet or a single crochet through both loops. So for the first and the last stitch of every row, I like to do a single crochet through both loops just to keep that a little bit more secure. So all these boxes you see here that don't have an X, you're working a single crochet in the back loop. And then when we do a drop down, we're dropping down two rows below, working the double crochet into the front loop. So that's how we read the chart and I have our rows labeled here. Okay, so you'll be chaining out 108 or 162. I've just chained out 18 to keep this small so I can work through this repeat fairly quickly with you. So you're gonna work in the second chain from the hook and I want you to turn your chain so that you see the back legs, the back humps, and that's what we're gonna work into to make our single crochet. 
So first rows worked in color A, which is white, and we're just working across all in the back humps here. Once you've worked over to the end, I'm going to get you to chain two and we're going to cut. That's going to keep your tails nice and secure. So we're going to join, we're going to chain two and join, and we're going to end with a chain two because we're going to leave all these tails out. We're going to trim them and hide them in our border. Okay. So that's why we're doing that. So let's grab color B. And I won't be changing to any other color throughout. I'll just let you know how to do your color changes. Because you could work this entire blanket in just the two. So let's chain two. And then we're going to join into that top with a single crochet. Okay, now we're going to work across all in the back loop and the final stitch through both loops. So work single crochets in the back loop all the way across. Last stitch, you'll go through both loops. You're going to chain two and trim. Okay, so the first two rows are really just setup rows. They're really simple to work. You don't have any drop down. So now row three is when we start having those drop down. So I'm going to chain two. We're going to get right into that first single crochet stitch. Work that single crochet. Let's take a look at what the pattern is going to be. So we're going to work a back loop, drop down, two back loops, drop down, two back loops, and You'll notice that the patterns will just repeat themselves across. It's really easy to remember. It's just that you have to check the end, how you're ending. So single crochet in the back loop. And then here's our next stitch. Here's our loop that we're gonna work into. That's why we're working in back loops. So we have these front loops available to drop down. So we're gonna drop down do a double crochet through the front loop. Then we'll work two in the back. So we're skipping those two and then we're doing a drop down into the next. And if you're working the baby size, you're working across 107 stitches. If you're working the throw, you're doing 161. Okay, and then two in the back loop and a drop down again. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way across. Okay, so you should be ending how you start. So we've got a single crochet in the back loop and then we have a single crochet through both loops, chain two, and we'll cut that. Okay, and then we'll be on to row four. Okay, so I already chained two and did my first single crochet. Then row four, we're gonna do three in the back loop. We're gonna do a drop down, back loop, drop down. 
So three in the back loop, one, two, three. And now our drop down is going around this double. You always want to eyeball that out to make sure you're putting these stitches in the right place because it's so easy to get off track. Just missing one stitch will throw off the pattern. So our back loop is going in that double stitch and then our drop down is going on the other side of it. Okay, and then one, two, three. And then here's our next double. We're doing our drop down, back loop, and drop down. Then we've got our three, and I'm just ending then with the single crochet in the last stitch. We'll chain two and cut. Okay, I've chained two. I'm just gonna join in with my single crochet. I'm always making sure I'm getting this over the, that chain two, getting it in there, giving it a little tug. Okay, so that's always the start. We always single crochet through both. So then we've got a drop down. Okay, so now I'm looking at this and the drop down is gonna go, we've got these three loops, drop down, single crochet back loop and drop down. Drop down, single in the back loop and drop down. And then we do three in the back loop, one, two, three, and then you should be coming to those three loops again. So we do our drop down single in the back loop and drop down. So just repeat that across you are ending. Here you'll have your drop down, single drop down and a single crochet in the last. I've cut that and that completes five and now we're on to six. Okay, so I've chained two. I've worked my first single crochet. I'm gonna do one in the back loop. Then I've got a drop down to a drop down to a drop down. So it's easy to memorize. So we have our drop down and that's going between these doubles. Then one, two. The next drop down is going in the center of these three. One, two, the next one goes down there and that loop all on its own. Okay, just repeat that across and you will end, you'll be ending with your single crochet in the back loop, single crochet, chain two and cut. So we're ending. Chain two, a snip. That completes row six and we're on to row seven. So for seven, I've already got my chain two and my single crochet started. We're gonna do three. One, two, three, and we have drop down, back loop, drop down, and then you have three again, and that pattern continues. So drop down, we're going over around this double, back loop, drop down, three, one, two, three, 
drop down, back loop, drop down, one, two, three, and then end with that single crochet in the last stitch. Chain two, And I always like to just give these a tug, making sure everything's nice and secure. And you can see our pattern is coming together. Now we're on to row eight. Row eight is a repeat of row five with B. I've made my chain two and I've started it off. So now we're gonna have a drop down, back loop drop down. Drop down, back loop. drop down. Then I'm working three, then a drop down, back loop, drop down, one, two, three, Back loop, drop down, back loop, drop down, and ending with a single crochet in the final stitch. Chain two. That completes row eight. Okay, so row nine, made my chain two and single crocheted in the first, then we have a back loop row nine is a repeat of row three. So then we're doing a drop down, two, and then our drop down is going in the center of these three. So two in the back loop, and a drop down. I just get this pattern in my head and then I can just whip along. So I'm finishing it up with one in the back loop and then the single crochet in the final. Chain two. Okay, and we're working our way through. So nine is complete and now we're on to row 10. So I've already attached my single crochet. Um, row 10 is a repeat of row five. We're gonna drop down. Work in the back loop. A drop down. And then three in the back loop. So one, two, three, and then our drop downs are going around this double here. So drop, whoops. Drop, oh, I keep grabbing it. Drop down. Back loop. drop down, and then three. Finishing it off with a single crochet in the final stitch, chain two. Okay, and then we're on to row 11. So I've chained two and attached my first single crochet. We are gonna work three in the back loop. One, two, three. And then we have a drop down. 
single crochet back loop and a drop down. Okay, so this is just repeating row four. Three in the back loop, one, two, three, drop down, back loop. And then single crochet in the final stitch, chain two and cut. Okay, so now we're on to row 12. I've already attached, did my first single crochet. So then we're working in the back loop and 12 is a repeat of row three. So we're gonna do a drop down and then two one, two, and a drop down. So just repeat that now across. Okay, so we're just ending with our two and chain two. We're almost through the repeat. So 12 is complete. Next is row 13. Row 13 is a repeat of row five. So we're just gonna put that slip knot on the hook. Chain two. Work a single crochet in the first stitch. And then we have a drop down. Back loop, drop down. And then we're working three and then doing the drop down. Single drop down. So one, two, three. Drop down, single, drop down, single crochet in the final stitch, chain two, cut. So we're on to row 14 and it's a repeat of row four. Okay, so we're gonna chain two, get this joined in to the first stitch. And then we're going to work three in the back loop. One, two, three. Then we're going to have a drop down, single, drop down, and then work three. So one, two, three, and just keep going. Drop down, single, And we'll do the single crochet in our final stitch. Chain two.
Okay, so that is the repeat. So those are the main, that's the main repeat that you need to know how to do. I've worked through it all with you. So now let's chat about how you're gonna complete the blanket and how many rows you need to do. Okay, so if you're working the baby size blanket, you're gonna repeat rows three through 14, 10 times. And then you're gonna do row three one more time, which is finishing off with your white. You want a total of 147 rows for your baby size. And you're just gonna split your colors into three sections. So just split up the color as you go or do it all in one solid color. So that's what you need to know for the baby. So if you're working the throw size, you need a total of 219 rows. So you're gonna repeat that repeat three through 14 17 times and then you'll work row three one more time your color changes for that you're going to work a total of six repeats of one color six repeats of the next color six repeats of the next color so you're just going to evenly have you have 18 repeats in total so you're just splitting them up or just do it all into colors that's up to you Okay, so I finished off my little swatch with a row three. I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to trim up the tails, okay? So you want to keep these fairly short just so you don't have a big mess when you're trying to do your double border. I'm gonna show you with a different color to make it easier. You can follow along with your pattern, but this is how you will make a double border. It will work for any of my patterns. And I'm gonna demonstrate it with this color so it's easier to see. So we can join here into any stitch along the top. And we're gonna slip stitch. We're gonna slip stitch all the way over to the corner at all of our corners we're gonna chain two to make that corner and then we're gonna slip stitch down and you want to go through each row so we can see here here's the white here's the green white green so make sure you get a slip stitch for each row okay and just make sure that you're not doing these slip stitches too tight or they're going to be a real bugger to work into when we do the next round just keep them nice and loose this works for any of my blankets or dishcloths or anything that requires a double border Just follow along with the pattern for the colors that you need to use. Okay, and then when you get to your corner, we're gonna chain two and now work it all the way along here, up here and back, and then I'll meet you up there. So I'm coming to the end here. So what you want to do is cut this off. We're going to do a seamless join to finish this. So take your yarn needle. And you're going to go under both loops of the very first stitch. Okay, and this is sort of a faux loop. You're gonna go back through the center. Okay, and that's sort of making another faux loop. Now what you can do, because this will all again be hidden, we can just give this a knot, just kind of like our, I don't wanna pull it too tight because I don't wanna distort the stitch. 
and then you can trim and then that can get hidden in the border as well rather than weaving it. So you have a nice seamless join. And here you can see this blanket I've gone with the light blue and even I find it's nice the light it's so much easier to use a color so the white is really hard to see even though I've done the double border in the white but it's up to you what color you want to use and then this is how our border is going to look now we're going to switch over to the smaller hook. So I've grabbed my smaller hook, my 4.5, so my G plus. Now, it's important that you start this on the wrong side of your work. Because what we're gonna do is be working into this back loop, back leg of that slip stitch we made. And this is why it's nice it being in a color that you can see. Join in. This is the most tedious round you are gonna have, okay? Pull it through. We're gonna chain three and that is gonna count as our first double crochet. Now we're gonna work double crochet in each of them. As long as you've made those slip stitches fairly loose, you should be you should be okay. So then what we're going to do when we get to this chain, I'm going to do a double crochet in just the one loop of the chain. Okay? And then we're going to chain 2. And then you're gonna do a double crochet in the next loop. Just the one loop of the chain. Then we're in a double crochet. Those back legs down. Like I say, it's going to be a slow go for this round. The front side's a lot easier to work into. So you're going to just do the same thing all the way around here. You're going to go just work your double crochets and then every time you get to the corner in the one loop of the chain, you're going to do a double, chain two, double. And just work this all the way around. I'm going to meet you back up at the top. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. Now what we're going to do is slip stitch in the third chain of the chain three. So one, two, three. Chain three. And for our blankets, we're doing two more rounds. And those round two and three will be worked exactly the same. So I'm just going to do round two. I'm not going to do round three because I don't think it's necessary, but if you're working the blanket, just work through the pattern and do the three rounds total. So now what we're going to do is work double crochets. This round's much easier now. We're just working right into the stitch. And when you get to your corner, you're working a double in the one chain, chain two, and a double in the one loop of the other chain. And this is it. You're just working into the established double crochets and then doing the same thing in all the corners. So I'm just gonna work it off camera, I'm gonna meet you back up and then we'll flip it. I'll show you how to do the front. Okay, so we're gonna slip stitch in the third chain of the chain three. 
And now my blankets have another round, but I'm gonna stop here. You can actually make your border as wide as you want. So really as many rounds is fine. So let's just snip that off and flip it over to the right side of our work. So now all of these ends, we're gonna want to go inside that border. We could weave this end in now. So we don't have to later. So what we want to do now, again, you can join in any place. We're going through the back loop only of the stitch. So it's worked really similar to the other side. It's just now we're going through this back loop, leaving the front loop exposed, chaining three, and then this is just a lot easier to work into than that back leg was. So we're working across double crochet stitches. I just love actually how this little edge looks. Now, if you're really brave and you want it all in white, go for it. It's just harder to see, that's all. But if you're brave, and you want it all white, but I actually, with, with this design, I really liked the color. Some of them are hard still to get into if you've made the stitch too tight. And this is where I did the join. Sometimes if you gotta do that, you gotta do what you gotta do to get in there. So this one can round can still be a little tedious getting in to all these slip stitches. And some hooks are pointier than others. So you may find with your hooks, getting a good one with a good pointy tip on it helps. Okay, and then when we get to the chain two, work a double, whoops, work the double, chain two, and you just gotta find the other chain two, the other chain of the chain two. And then I find when we get to the edge here, it kind of helps if you just tuck all of your tails, just sort of fold it down and then work. And that should make it a little bit easier. Whoops. Okay, so I'm just gonna work it all around off camera. It's easier that way. Just make sure your corners, you're going into those chain twos and chaining two for each corner. Work it really just like we did the other side. Okay, so once you get all the way around, this is how it's looking. You've got your nice edge. And then this is basically the same as the back. We're slip stitching into the third chain of the chain three. We're chaining three and then working double crochets 
into each of our established double crochet stitches now. So whatever you do on the back, you do on the front. If you do If you do two rounds, do two rounds. If you do three, do three. And then when you get to your chain two, you're doing a double chain two, and in the next chain, another double. So just repeat that all the way around. Okay, so I've slip stitched this to join. And what we're gonna do is join, to join the border together, we're gonna join into the chain two. So I'm just gonna get this end out of the way. Before we get into that. Okay, so we're gonna be, I didn't do, my border as wide so some tails are still sticking out a little bit we could trim we could trim these a little bit more just to make it a bit easier now what we're going to do is join the border together it's just gonna sandwich everything, hide everything together. So let's join up in the corner. Okay, so we're gonna single crochet chain two and single crochet in every corner okay okay so now let's take a look at the stitch we're going to go through the back loop and front loop there closest to us okay back loop and then the loop that's closest to us. Just make sure you tuck all the tails in as you go. So just continue in that manner and I'll meet you at the okay, So when you get to your corner, you're gonna single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in the corner and then you're just gonna repeat this around it's a little snug for me fitting the tails in with only doing the two rounds but I've squished them in you're just gonna keep going all the way okay so when you get back to the start you're gonna just slip stitch in the first single crochet to join fasten off and just weave in the ends and that is how you complete the double border for your blankets and you can just see how it looks on the Caribbean coastal blanket it looks really nice all finished the back looks great it's such a clean finished edge I just love the overall look so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap that bell to stay updated on new videos and tutorials.